the the guy brought up a Bible verse and it said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you. And I was like, man, I seek all those things and then I do the good things. I do the spiritual things if I have time. And I was like, that was my trap. I, I was stuck in my old thinking. I was, I was, I, I, I wasn't, I was still using my intellect and not my heart. So that day I quit my job and I just said, I'm going to go wherever anybody that needs help. And so I went to drop-ins, homeless shelters. I, uh, I hung out with a pastor that took me to hospitals and, you know, I just did what he was doing, all, all that kind of stuff. And, and after about nine months, um, a guy named Ray Demeray, uh, he is the founder of Jericho Road Ministries. And it was a, a ministry housing for guys with mental illness. And so uh, it was a place that I volunteered a little bit, a couple days a week uh, with the pastor that I was rolling with. And um, Ray gave me a, a job opportunity to do an overnight shift at one of the care homes. And uh, it was the first time I ever had a tear in my eye because I felt like this is this is the the job that God wanted me to have. And so I started working there and it was uh, beautiful, man. It was like, it was seven bucks an hour. I still remember it. And we're in the interview and he said, it's seven bucks an hour. And it's like, when you get some, when, when you get that offer, there's no room for it. Like, I'm like, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, you're not going to like, okay, seven fifty. Like, it's just like, okay, seven bucks an hour. Cool. Um, I hope that covers my expenses getting to work about. And uh, it was a cool job. I remember day like two, this guy, he was a big, big man. And uh, he was like six, five, 400 pounds. And he's like, John, can you tuck me in? And I'm like, tuck you in? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Anybody watching me? And I was like, I tucked a man in and put his breathing apparatus on. And then he's like ripping it off. He's like, John, pray for me. And he's talking like Darth Vader because all his breath is going out. And I'm like, I don't know how to do this. Like, where's the manual? But that's what God's love is. Is like, you just get put in these situations and God doesn't call the equipped. He equips the call. And I had a call in my life to be a messenger of his love. And that's where I started. 